far away, she looks so good. Grew up in the same neighborhood, and that's how to rub salt in the wound. Spend a few hours on the reservoir. Never broke a bone, so I'm gonna try hard. Hi besties, um, do you like my new glasses? I got them recently and I am in love with them. Um, but first things first, if I sound a little bit weird, I'm trying to talk because I had all of my wisdom tooth taken out last week. So it's been a week and like some people recover really quickly and then other people don't. I have been kind of a slow one because I don't know why, honestly. I don't know if it's because like, it was the four of them and I don't know it's kind of a process I still have like my stitches in so that's why I can't really talk properly and I can't even smile and it's so frustrating because when I go to places I usually smile at everyone like when I enter a room like a room or a restaurant or something I'm gonna order something I like smiling <laughs> and go like hi could you help me or something like that and I can't even smile and I don't know people just and people I know also like people that know me from my like usual places probably think I'm so pissed <laughs> oh, because I can't move my mouth but tomorrow I'm getting my stitches out so hopefully I can um, talk properly but I wanted to do a little day in my life slash a few days in my life because first of all I got a new chair and it's gonna be like a reading chair um and i don't know where to put this i want to put this in my room because i like i do have my bed where i read most of the time but i think i'm gonna switch i don't know if you guys can see but over there there's a white chair i think i want to switch that chair for this one and that's gonna be like like my reading spot because i have my bookshelf over there so it's gonna be like yeah my little reading spot I also have a lamp there so it fits perfectly and I also bought like a few Halloween-ish um, decor and I'm so excited. I think I've never been this excited for fall because honestly I live in a place that fall literally doesn't exist like it doesn't get cold like where I live it is always hot. It is always hot and humid outside. If I, I don't know if I'm gonna post this video after I think I want to post this video after the book haul, but you guys, I bought, I bought so many fall books. Insane. <clears throat> so let's do the haul. So this is the duvet cover thingy. Um, it's really pretty and it's a twin size, so I had to buy like the smallest size. That is that. Then look at my little cushion whatever thingy. So cute. I bought a mug, like a gigantic mug and a mini plate. But it's fall. But it's like Halloween slash fall vibes. Look! Mini goes. With like the, the Halloween candies. These were my favorite candies. Most of the plates that I use are that small, so it was perfect. And I got the most beautiful and dainty mug. Look. And it has like yellow around it and it says beautiful. So I'm putting Taylor Swift, obviously. Okay, I'm gonna put a song and you guys need to comment from which album this song is. Okay, I can only show that part because if not, I'm gonna get copyrighted. But that's the song. It's If you already commented it, it's tolerated and I absolutely love it.
could show you. Let's have a little chat um, while I do this. So, life updates, you guys. Um, I had to get my four wisdom teeth out because um, I'm actually kind of like in a big process of a big surgery that I have to have next year, beginning of next year. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be having um, jaw surgery. I've had a lot of problems with my jaw for years at this point, a lot of years, almost five years, and it's really it's been really just frustrating. But I think I finally kind of have like a solution, and it is jaw surgery, which is pretty major surgery. Um, so I had to take my four wisdom teeth out to get the surgery. I'm gonna be doing Invisalign for about five, six months. Then I have to get braces, so that is so fun. <laughs> I'm not excited about that, but I have to get braces for the surgery because after the surgery I have to have braces for at least a month and a half. So I'm telling you guys all this because I don't know what I'm going to do with posting and stuff next year when I have to have the surgery. But I hope I can document it for you guys and maybe help other people who have to go through this because it's going to be a long journey. So this was step number one and it's, it's been going well. If I could tell you, I don't think you believe. This way, I'm begging you to stay. And if I could show you, I'd hope that you could see all the possibilities. There could be a place for you and me. And under the stars, you pack up your car, cause you're going. Okay, so that was quick. Um, I decided to put it on this little corner here in my room because I never have use for this corner. Um, honestly, what I'm going to do for the rest of the afternoon, not rest of the afternoon, but like pretty much majority of my afternoon is read this book because I am doing the TBR series once again, you guys. And I'm doing a mini vlog for each book, but now over on my TikTok, I feel like it's um, more doable. So I'm going to start reading Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cotron. And actually, I think this is kind of like a New Year's, like Christmas slash New Year's kind of thing. But I don't care. I'm, I'm going to read it anyways. I'm using my own bookmark that I made out of clay and I love it. Okay, so a little update on the book. I'm on page 46, and basically, this is... Okay, how do I explain this? And the story starts with kind of like a prologue at the beginning, and it's kind of like a backstory to the actual story. So the story starts with, like, last Christmas, because Ellie met this, like, girl, this gorgeous girl, um, Christmas Eve, and they spent the entire day together, and basically Ellie kind of fell in love with her from one day of being with her, but quickly the next day got heartbroken because of an unknown reason that I don't know yet, but basically she got heartbroken because she was, like, in love with this person. So one year later, the actual story starts, and Ellie's life is like falling apart. She hates her job. She hates her life. 
um, she's gonna get like evicted, she's like she's struggling, right? And then comes Andrew. And like from what I already read in the back of the book, I knew that this book was gonna be a marriage of convenience. So I'm guessing that Ellie's gonna marry um, Andrew out of convenience. So well, let's see how it goes. But I'm actually really liking it. Like I love their personalities um, and it's really funny as well so i can barely <laughs> so i can barely eat anything and i've literally been eating a bunch of frozen yogurt so let's do a quick frozen yogurt stop I'm gonna take off my makeup because it's like 5 p.m. and I've had this for so long and it feels yucky. But I used to take off my makeup with the e.l.f. cleansing balm and it was the best thing ever but I stopped using it because it didn't have the best ingredients and I think it was breaking me out too. So I switched to the Eau Cleansing Balm by the Inky List, which is honestly like a great alternative because it's not that expensive. So if you want like a more affordable option, I think this one is very good. I did try the um, Versed one by the brand Versed, their cleansing balm. And I have to say, like I had, I, that was so hyped up for me. I was so excited to use it. And oh my gosh, when I like, rubbed the cleansing balm over my eyes like to take off the mascara which i do for every which i do with every single cleansing balm it burned my eyes so badly like i don't know it has like a very strong scent so that was immediately a no so i've been using this one instead and i do like it but i do want to find another one that i like a little bit more I'm all red and I look like I got punched, but but the facial cleanser that I use is from Vanny Cream and I I swear by this. Like this is I think like eight dollars on Amazon. I buy it on Amazon because I don't have a store that sells them, but it's like the best thing ever. It's very, very like gentle for sensitive skin. I have rosacea, so it's like it's like the best thing ever. It doesn't um, it doesn't break me out. It doesn't give me more rosacea. Um, it doesn't burn my skin. Look, you guys can see the bruising from the wisdom teeth removal. So I just realized that I haven't been posting the TBR series, like the TikToks on YouTube. So I'm going to start to do that early on and post the first um, TikTok that I already uh, posted to my TikTok account, which is kind of like part zero, which is organizing the bookshelves um, just to have like the playlist up for you guys if you don't have TikTok because I know a lot of you don't have TikTok. So, um, that is important for you guys to have this. All done. Good morning. Okay, so I got to page 60. I read a little bit. Um, it's not like the longest book ever. It's pretty short actually. So I need to pick up the pace and I want to finish this book today. Not sure if that's gonna be possible because I have a doctor's appointment today for the removal of the stitches and I'm freaking out because last time I got stitches like in my mouth, taking them out was the most painful experience of my life. So I'm kind of nervous about that, but I have to run a few errands. I'm going to pick up, you guys, I'm going to pick up the last um, mug that I made from my pottery classes, and I'm so excited for that mug. I hope it turned out really well. Um, I haven't seen it, so 
let's see how it turned out. I'm gonna like obviously show you guys and everything. It's 8.30 a.m. So I think I can read until 10. So let's, let's start. Hello! Drinking from mugs that you made from scratch just hits different. Like, oh my gosh. It's like precious. Like, I treat these mugs with so much care. Let's do a little haul of the things that I got for fall decorations. I tend to go overboard with the things that I buy, so I stuck to three things. You guys need to be proud of me. Okay, so I had this vision, right? I have this vision of like decorating the little corner and a little bit of my bed and making my room feel a little bit more cozy. I bought a placemat but I'm not actually going to use it as a placemat. I'm gonna use it as decoration and you guys need to see this. It's so cute and the back is orange so if I get like bored of the design I can use the orange and I thought it was so cute and I'm gonna use it um, kind of like as <laughs> I don't know like a tablecloth and on top of that I bought a light but it's not a regular light it's shaped like a pumpkin look it's a pumpkin light <gasps> look Oh my, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I had to get a pillow, but I didn't get just any pillow, you guys. I got the cutest pillow you have ever seen. Um, and if you remember yesterday, this is pop quiz. If you remember yesterday, what a candy did I say was my favorite one in Halloween? Oh my gosh! Look at this! It's a little bad, but it's the candy. I desperately want to be in a place where fall is an actual season. Half bad. This. That is adorable. Okay, you guys, I finished the book and it honestly took an unexpected turn. Like, I really just did not know anything about this book before reading it, but I can say that I was pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna give this book 4.2 out of 5 stars. I think it's because I think it's between like a 4 and a 4.5, so I'm gonna give it a 4.2. I've never given, I think I've never given a book a book 4.2. But here we are. Um, also, great news, I got my stitches out. So I can smile a little bit now. It still kind of hurts, so I, I'm not gonna do it often. Um, but I can talk, so that's exciting. So let's do a little wrap up of this. I'm not gonna give you guys any spoilers because to be honest, when I read this book, I didn't even read um, the entire synopsis in the back of the book. And I'm so glad I didn't because I caught so many plot twists and like like surprises and it was fun. So basically, as I, I don't remember if I said this, but this book is about Ellie and Ellie, the story starts with kind of like last Christmas with a story of Ellie meeting this girl 
this girl that she met at a bookstore and they spent the whole day together which was Christmas Eve and they spent like Christmas together but then something happened they have a one night stand um this is Ellie and Jack that's the girl's name and they have a one night stand and then something happens the next day and it all falls apart and they basically get heartbroken out of a very big miscommunication so fast forward to Ellie um a year later her life is literally falling apart she cannot hold a job she actually almost loses a job that she has and this guy this guy that comes kind of out of nowhere suggests a f like fake marriage a marriage of convenience because in order to access his trust fund um, from a will of his grandfather he needs to marry he needs to get married so he proposes this to Ellie and they are basically like gonna get married for that and she's gonna get a percentage of the will so one of the rules was that Ellie had to accompany um, Andrew that's the guy's name to his family's cabin for Christmas for the entire Christmas so it was like eight days and so much things happen I'm just gonna say that so much things happen I'm not gonna say anything else because I don't want to spoil that plot twist that for me was kind of a plot twist and it was very fun um and but what you do need to know is that it is a second chance romance with the girl at the beginning of the story i'm not going to tell you how but it's a second chance romance and i absolutely loved it i did get a little bit annoyed at some point because i was getting a bit tired of the miscommunication trope but at the end it was cute i liked it so would i recommend it yeah i think i would and I'm going to finish the vlog here so I can have this video up for you guys as soon as possible. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload more videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Love you.